Probably one of the biggest tasks that you will do as you're creating your website is to develop articles and format articles and place articles in your website. And so over the next uh, three or four tutorials, we're going to teach you everything that you ever wanted to know about articles. And in this lesson, we're going to take a look at formatting articles. Let's open up our back end here, our control panel. And you'll remember that uh, the place to go to create articles is under the content menu tab. Just click on that and go down to article manager. And if you wanted to, you could go directly over and click on add new article and that would open up a window ready for you to uh, create your next article. And in this article, we're going to talk about some of the services that our company provides to the public. We might call the article something like our services. Now we could go ahead and just start typing in our article right here within our JCE editor. And by the way, if you are just popping into this tutorial without having taken a look at some of our previous tutorials, it may be that uh, your edit screen here for the articles is a little bit different. And the reason is, is because you can uh, use different types of text editors within Joomla. And we have downloaded a plugin called the JCE uh, editor, and that's the one that we're using in this uh, demonstration. So if you want to follow along with our tutorials, it would be a good idea for you to maybe go back and take a look at how we uh, acquired that plugin and how we installed it and how we turned it on for uh, use when we're creating articles. So this is the JCE editor. So we could, uh, like I say, just go ahead and start typing in our document here. It's much like you would a word processor. If you'd prefer, uh, if you're like me, I prefer to uh, write my articles inside a program like Microsoft Word, where I have a, a few more options in the way of grammar checking and spell checking. I'm not the best in those uh, areas, and so I, I like to have all the help that I can get. And then when you've completed your article, you can just do a copy-paste, copy the section that you want to use, do a control C. Now there's one step that I like to do between Word and our JCE editor, and that is to pop my article into a very plain text editor like Notepad. And this will strip out any hidden characters that Word might be applying to my document. They may not be visible, but there's hidden characters in there that will tell Word how it should look in the Word program but when we bring that document into JCE, those formatting, those hidden formatting characters might affect our article design in ways that we don't want. We might not even notice it when we're editing in JCE, but when people actually come to visit our website, some browsers might catch some of those hidden characters and format your article in ways that you weren't uh, intending to. So it's a good idea to strip out any hidden characters that may be um, causing formatting issues by dropping your document into Notepad. And then you can, once it's in Notepad, select the text again, hit Control C, and now bring it into our JCE editor with a Control V. All right, now by doing this process, you will have indeed stripped out any formatting that you might have done in Word, and so you no longer might have the bold or italicized and, and uh, different ways that you made it look in Word, they're all gone. So if indeed you did want to have certain items have a little more emphasis, like with a bold, you're going to have to add that now inside JCE. And you can do that just by simply highlighting and going up and hitting the bold. Now, some of the other things that you can do, let's say that you're not happy with the font or, or you just want to try some other fonts. Just uh, again, select the text and notice that you can go up to the font family and uh, choose other fonts, much like you would inside a word processing program. And uh, of course, you can always change the font size as well. Again, just select your text, or you can also select all of your text just by hitting Control A. That selects all of your text. And then we could change the font size. I like a 12 point uh, font size. I know that uh, that is probably a little bit different than what uh, a lot of guys do on their websites. A lot of times when I go to a website, I can barely read the text. It's so small. 
I think it has something to do with age. The older you get, the bigger the font size you want. Uh, a lot of the websites that I design are targeted to uh, the older generation, and so I like to create uh, a font size that is readable for uh, older eyes. And you'll notice that you can uh, format the text uh, in all the same ways that you can in a word processing program. Let's, let's hit the control A again to select all of our text. And notice that you have the option of centering your text, uh, lining it to the left, or left justification, right justification. Uh, you'll notice that uh, JCE Editor also has a full alignment option. And if you are coming from the print field, uh, you may be tempted to just block justify all of your articles. But it is really not recommended for website use. And the reason is, is because in print, the people who are setting up uh, the type or the print f formatting for books have the luxury of using hyphenation. And so they can format their texts so there isn't going to be a lot of white space in between words. Unfortunately, uh, when you're working on articles for the internet, you can't use hyphenation because, well, let me demonstrate. Let's maybe save this, save and close this, and go to the article that we already have published here, the About Us article. And let's set this to full justification. Hit Control A to select all of the text and uh, do the full justification thing and save that and go to our website, refresh. And at first glance, it looks fairly nice, um, much like you would see in a book. It's, it has a kind of an organized look to it. To, but as you take a closer look, you'll see that in order to create these, this nice even edge on the right-hand side, it is having to create spaces, extra spaces in between the words. And when you've got a full width article here, it doesn't look too bad. But remember that uh, your visitors are going to be arriving at your website using different devices. And the smaller your article width is, the more dramatic those white spaces are going to be. So by the time you get to um, people looking at your article on a phone, you can see that these white spaces are quite dramatic. And it just doesn't look very professional to have all of this white space in your article. And the reason you can't use hyphenation when you're working with articles is because as your text would reflow, depending on the screen size of your visitor, the words that you hyphenated might end up in the very middle of your, of your document. You'd end up with op, dash, or tunities, for example, here. And uh, so hyphenation just doesn't work uh, on e-readers or on the internet. And so when you're creating your documents, even though you might be tempted at first when you're first starting out to do a website to, to um, fully justify your article, do your best to resist the temptation. And most articles on the internet are aligned to the left, left justification, and uh, leaving these ragged edges onto the right. All right, let's take a look at a few other ways that you can format your text. Uh, the JCE editor is actually quite amazing. Uh, it, it almost rivals Microsoft Word in its capability. For example, we might want to uh, do something special with this first line. It's kind of like a tagline. So let's select that and let's maybe make it uh, larger. Maybe that's too large. Let's back off on that a little bit, maybe 18 point. And we might want to change the color of that. Select it again using your mouse. And there's two ways that you can affect a selected area of text with color. You can select the background color, or you can select to change the text color. So this would look more like you had a, a yellow highlighting pen or, or different color highlighting pens if we hit that and click out of it, you'll see it looks like you've highlighted the uh, area. That's not too commonly used in the internet. Let's undo that. But you do often see uh, some text having a different color just to kind of draw your attention to it. So you might want to change the text color here. And uh, at first glance, it may look like there's just not a lot of options for colors here. But uh, actually, when you go down to more colors, and you open up this uh, color picker, 
you'll see that you have millions of colors to choose from as you decide what color your text should be. Oh, I guess we didn't have our text selected. Let's select that again. You'll notice that JCE Editor has remembered the color that we just picked. So now all we have to do is go up and hit the A here, and that will change our color to the orange. However, before you get too carried away with formatting all of your documents using some of these features of the JCE Editor, like changing the color, changing your font size, changing the bold, there's something that you should be aware of. For example, uh, some might decide that as they're first starting out their website design that they want um, all of their titles within a document to be highlighted in a certain color, uh, let's say maybe a dark green. So they go through and they take the time to uh, make all of these changes, maybe italicizing it or underlining it. You know, taking all of these steps uh, for every article that they create for their website. And you can see that uh, even though JCE makes it easy to do, it is time consuming to do. And what happens if three months from now, your creative team decides that they don't like the green? They'd rather have that a yellow. If you've done it this way, one by one, in every article that you've created for your website, and somebody decides that, no, they want it formatted differently, you're going to have to spend hours going through all of your articles, changing the formatting to some of these featured items inside uh, your documents. There's a better way. After many years of designing websites like this, where coders had to go back in and reformat every article on a website when somebody wanted to change to the design, they came up with a better way to handle this, and they developed a, a coding language called CSS, stands for Cascading Style Sheets. Rather than using a text editor like this to format the colors and the size of the fonts and the bolding and, and just the whole format of the uh, text, like you would in a word processor, or doing it in HTML, for fun, let's just maybe go and see what this looks like in HTML. And you can, anytime you want to, take a look at the code of your article just by going up to this little icon here, Source Code Editor. And if we were to go and take a look at the coding, the HTML coding, for what makes that green, we would see that this is all of the stuff that uh, coders have to type in in order to make something green and bolded. Uh, that long line of text. Well, what the coders decided to do is rather than define the color and the font size and the bolding for every line of text that you want to format that way, it would be a lot better to define some of these uh, formatting options with just one command. And then if down the road, you want to change your whole website, all you have to do is make one change and it'll affect all of the articles throughout the whole website rather than going through every article. JCE Editor allows you to work with that even though we don't have to really get involved working with CSS. Uh, JCE Editor does allow us to work with these um, formatting styles. Let's maybe uh, start over with our text from Notepad and just replace that with the original text. And so this time, rather than use the bold and the, the color picker here to change and format our text that we want to feature, let's use the paragraph and let's maybe choose Heading 3. And we can go to Photography, do the same, Heading 3. Heading 3, Heading 3. So you get the idea that uh, we are still featuring the, these uh, important items of text, but now they are defined with the CSS command of Heading 3. And at any time down the road, we decide that we want Heading 3 to look different all we have to do is go into CSS 
and we'll show you how to do that in another tutorial, and change the formatting for Heading 3, and every piece of text that you have formatted with the command Heading 3 will then be changed to the, the new design that you are working towards. And that way, it's just, it just takes you one minute instead of hours or days to go through and redesign your uh, documents. All right, well, let's maybe just uh, add a little image here. We did this in another tutorial, but let's quickly add a, an image to this. Uh, well, maybe this scene here would be uh, good. Okay, now let's drop this into an appropriate category. I think we could put it into portfolio category. Let's uh, save and close this. And in our next tutorial, we'll show you how to get that to appear on your website. But for now, that does it for how to format your articles in Joomla.